To reinstall the level switch, first we'll install the harness into the stress relief. And then push the stress relief into the back of the control box. The other end, plug it into the control board. And using a zip tie, we'll gather all of the wires and neatly wrap them together. And we'll cut off the excess and we'll tuck that back into the control box and then reinstall the control box cover. Once the cover's in place, then we'll reinstall the screw. And then once that's done, we'll slide the harness back into the P-clamps. And reinstall the P-clamp. P clamp screws. And we'll tighten those up. And once that's done, we'll reinstall the zip tie around the harness and cut off the excess. Now, next thing we do, we have to reinstall the level switch onto the level switch bracket. Now if you notice the level switch has the nut that tightens it up and a rubber washer. The rubber washer goes above the, the bracket. We'll slide it onto the bracket and tighten it up by hand first. And then use your needle nose pliers to snug it. Next, we'll reinstall a new pump onto the pump bracket. Reinstall the plate. over. And then we'll reinstall the P-clamp around the pump harness. Now, once that's done, We'll go ahead and reinstall the discharge line to the pump 
and replace the clamp. And once you have that done, then we can slide the pump along with the bracket back into place. Now once it's in place, we'll go ahead and put the this bracket back in position. And using the T27 Torx, we'll start we we'll start the three screws that hold the plate bracket and a plate in for the pump. And once all three of them are installed, then we'll go ahead and tighten them all up. Next, we'll reinstall the P-clamp for the level switch. Install the nut that holds the peak clamp on. And finally, reattach the lead for the pump. So after all of that, we need to reinstall the upper housing. First thing we needed to remember is to plug in the lead that goes to the control board into this plug here on that bracket. So once we plug that in, we can take the front cover and slide it back onto the unit. Now, once that's done, we'll install the first, first four bolts minus the two middle ones. We'll tighten those up. Tighten up the two on the back. And finally, reinstall the last two bolts for the upper housing.